Hey everybody, I'm your mystery reader. What book should I read? Hmm. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah, what color is camouflage? What color is camouflage by Carolyn Otto, illustrated by Megan Lloyd. In the foothills near my house, a mountain lion might be hunting. He stalks across the dry hillside. His golden fur matches the grass. A doe raises her head to sniff the air. Her fawn is quiet, and the lion passes by. Wow, there's the lion over there. Where's her fawn, kids? Where is her fawn? Oh, yeah. Camouflage. In my backyard, a robin could catch an insect that looks like a leaf. After dark, a skunk and her babies might walk right down my street. My dog can see their bold white stripes. But he's learned to leave skunks alone. Near my house and all over the world, at every time of the day or night, animals are hunting for food or they're being hunted. Animals must eat in order to live, and to live, they sometimes have to hide. Animals hide in holes, burrows, and dens, in plants, underwater, and beneath rocks. Some animals hide out in plain sight, but they are still very hard to see. The does coat and the mountain lion's fur blend into the color surrounding them. Look at that golden color of the grass. The fawn spots match the sun and shade that dapple the thicket where she hides. When in danger, the fawn must stay very still. Any movement might draw the eye of the hunter. The fawn and the doe and the prowling lion, each one of these animals is camouflaged. What color is camouflage? Camouflage can be a certain color or a pattern of colors or a special shape that fools the eye. Animal camouflage is a kind of disguise. It makes an animal hard to see. Camouflage helps an animal hide from enemies and it can help a hunter sneak up on its prey. And that's what this little girl likes to do too. Her camouflage allows her to hide in the leaf litter and sneak up on her prey. Beautiful. Hiding and hunting are both made easier when an animal matches its surroundings. A green insect clinging to a green leaf is much harder to see than a red insect. If a green insect is shaped like a leaf, even the hungriest bird could miss it. Some animals disguise themselves by dressing in plants, pebbles, even other living things. Many crabs are experts at decorating their bodies with seaweed, shells, rocks, sponges, or anemones. When animals are perfectly camouflaged, sticks seem to crawl, leaves can fly, and a stone may have eyes and a beak. High up in the mountains above my house, this rock-colored ptarmigan warms her eggs in the summer a ptarmigan has many dark feathers. By snowfall, her feathers will be pure white. When the surrounding world changes colors, certain animals can change right along. Some, like the ptarmigan, change slowly. Her feathers change color as she molts. Only the dark eyes and the tips of the ears give away a jackrabbit in his winter coat. Young animals may change coloring as they grow, as they get big or strong or very swift. The fawn's spots will gradually fade when she can run away from danger. So she doesn't need her spots after time. Though it may take nearly three minutes for an American anole to change coloring, certain chameleons, squids, and octopuses can turn different colors in seconds flat. They may change to match their surroundings or because they feel excited or threatened. 
Many animals don't ever change. Some don't need any camouflage. These animals don't have to hide. Their colors may attract attention. A robin's red breast helps him find a mate. And a skunk's bold stripes are a warning. Animals sometimes use colors or bright patterns to say, I smell. Woo-wee! I sting. Ouch. Or I'm poisonous. Once sprayed by a skunk or stung by a bee, a hunter learns to avoid them the next time. Harmful, the honeybee, an Arizona coral snake. Harmless, a hoverfly, an organ pipe shovel nose snake, or also a lot of uh, milk snakes. Harmless animals may copy warning signals to protect themselves from their enemies, and that's called mimicry, by the way. A flash of bright color may be enough to fool a predator or to scare it away. Some animals have spots that look like eyes. Eye spots can frighten or confuse an enemy. A hunter may strike at eyes on a wing or a tail, which gives the prey a small chance to escape. Whether hunter or hunted, predator or prey, colors and camouflage help an animal survive. Wherever you live, animals live near you. In backyards and in city parks, outside and inside your house, in plants, underwater, in air, animals are everywhere. Do you see an animal? An animal you can spot right away may be saying something important. Look closely and more closely still. Look at colors, patterns, and shapes. An old stump could be a bird. A green branch may be a snake. A twig might be a caterpillar, a thorn might be an insect, a rock might be a turtle, and a dead leaf could be a toad. Look closely when you go outside. Can you find the hidden animals? When animals are camouflaged, they can be very hard to see. And check out this camouflage. Looks like a bunch of leaves on the ground. How would that help this animal to survive in the wild? Maybe catch her food? <laughs>